Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I started this adventure with wireframing in my quest to find a decent software requirement specification. Um, and in the process, I discovered wireframing, which might help me because I'm visu more visual than otherwise. Um, Basalmic actually looks pretty good. I did try the web demo and it loads. Uh, so, create okay, a new one. No, no, that's not what I do. Clear this and then view, show the UI library. There it is. So I can draw stuff, I can drag stuff down, and that's all good. And you can do stuff there. Um, but I couldn't find a way to create a second screen. I could only clear, I couldn't create. Um, which kind of, well, it's not, I can't really test it. Um, and so I couldn't really be able to test the interactivity, I mean, of course, I can drag stuff down, and that's all well and good, and happy days, and blah. But what I need to do is to find out if it's going to do what I want it to do, which is link between frames. And that's kind of annoying. I don't want that popping up every time. So um, that's where I started, and then I tried to install it, and then it says install Adobe Air. There's an error, so that stopped. So I went to Mockingbird and I signed up. It's not Flash. It's all, I think it's all HTML5, which I'm more inclined to like. Um, and I got some stuff put together pretty quick. Here's the home page. There's nothing there. Test. So um, they don't have as many widgets as. Um, Basalmic, but you can search for the ones you want, and so let's uh, we'll try image. There's image. Now uh, I can't figure out how to put an image in here, uh, which is a bit of a bummer. And same for sound. Um, <coughs> I can't attach a sound file to it. There's no right click of meaning here. Uh, it's got the usual alignment tools which is nice. You can see the the alignment works and that works pretty much the same with Basalmic when it's working. Uh, uh, one of the things that is pretty cool though, and let's see if it works because I had trouble with it just a moment ago. Uh, let's, Rename this, call it blah. And so uh, I can click and drag. Theoretically, I should be able to click and drag this and create a link like that. Uh, so when I click on this, rather, when I click on the link, it should take me to blah which it does. And I've got a link here, which will take me to TST, which it does. So I can rename these and call it something else. And now theoretically, it should update, which it did. Now, uh, what it doesn't support, it doesn't have our comment blocks. Um, it does offer code blocks, but I can't have callouts. There's no callouts. So if I wanted to write something to describe this, um, what I have to do essentially is to create a new descri um, button description, button description, and then this is the link. Or actually, I'll make it to this. So this is a go back here. Now I drag this over here, and I click to the button description, and now again. I can't type until I start typing. I have to give it a widget. Text. 
And I don't want to use a text area necessarily. Um, I'm just going to use some text. So here's my text. Here is the stuff for the developer. And there it is. And so when I go back to blah, some notes about the screen. No, that's going to take me to another blah for the developer. Button description. Here's the stuff for the dev. Now it doesn't tell me what it's connected to. How do I know what it's connected to? It doesn't tell me. So I have to. F that's a bit of a bummer. I, I would want to know that it's connected somewhere and it doesn't tell me that. So how do I find that? Oh, that is a real problem. Where do I find the button description? Some notes about the screen? No. Nope. No. Nope. No. Hmm. So I've got a I've got a different problem now. I really don't know where my where this goes to, what it's connected to. It doesn't tell me. And I don't want that. I don't want that either, so I have to see if I can get all of these out from being nested. Hmm, got a new problem. It's nesting when I don't want it to nest. Ah, okay, you have to drag it all the way out, right like that. So, there's no more nesting. Where's my button description? Alright, so I'll just drag it over here and it's not the same. I know it's not the same. Uh, so there's definitely some stuff that's not quite fully functional. Um, at least not for me. But the links appear to work. Uh, there's no map tool to show me where things are going or how it's interacting. Uh, and upgrade, when I click upgrade, it really doesn't tell me why I should upgrade. It doesn't tell me I'm going to get more widgets doesn't tell me that I'm going to get more functionality. It doesn't tell me much other than I'm going to get more active projects. Okay, that's all well and good, but right now I need functionality. Uh, and functionality being, you know, sound or images or a map document showing where everything is going. Uh, when I share, well, let's see, what else is here? Yeah, I have undo and group. I can share it. But preview, well, preview is preview, but it doesn't really give me document description. Uh, let's see, can I export? I'll edit export as a PDF. Let's see what happens. Blah, 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 blah. Open. Okay, nothing here. Links don't work in the PDF, which that's no good. Why would I want links that don't work with PDF? So I would prefer, I would much rather have this export as HTML and not PDF. If that's a function of if that's a product of upgrading, that might be more interesting. But um, the export options don't provide HTML or linking, which is what I want. Um, settings, blah. And the, and the close button is on the far left. That's that's causing me some trouble. I prefer, if I'm going to design the UI, I want the close button in the right, which is where it is everywhere else. Okay, that's a quick review of uh, Mockingbird. It's, or Go Mockingbird. Not the best, but it does work. Uh, Basama does work, apparently, but it doesn't work on Ubuntu. At least not for me. Thanks for watching, and if you have any tips on software requirements, specifications, writing, or other uh, 
online wireframing tools, please feel free to share them with me. Uh, okay, so with Basalmic, uh, I can import images, I can have multiple mockups, uh, interactive PDFs, that's very nice. Um, creating symbols for master for hmm don't know what that really means and no more nags well that's fine the importing images and uh, linking mockups together for click-throughs that's nice and interactive PDFs so those top four pretty much what I was looking for when I was playing with go mockingbird all right thanks for watching happy computing